What's going on, guys? Dr. Andrew Fix back for another episode here on The Code. Thank you so much for joining. However you're tuning in, listening to this episode, um, we are going to be freestyling this one, you guys. This was a conversation that I was having. Uh, first, I was having it with myself. I'll get I'll get to that in my own head. But then I was having it with one of the coaches here in the facility. One of our clinics are located in. And um, the concept was about play, right? And how as adults, many times we stop playing. We stop doing the things that we used to do as kids. And then our bodies start to pay the price for that. And we start to be able to feel the fact that we've stopped playing. We start to feel stiffer, achier less mobility, whatever words you want to use, maybe more out of shape. Um, we know that's a big problem here in our country in the United States and probably, you know, just in the world in general. Um, I've done a bit of traveling, but I have not been to as many places internationally as I would like to have. And uh, I do know many other places are doing better than we are in terms of obesity rates and things and, and rates of arthritis. Uh, and maybe we'll touch on that topic a little bit. <clears throat> but to kick it off, we need you. I want you. You need you to go play. And what do I mean by go play? I mean, go do things that you used to do as a kid, right? And let me, you know, sort of paint the picture of how we got on this topic is uh, we have some family in town from uh, from Arizona. <clears throat> on my wife's side of the family, we have four young kids now, like very young kids. Whereas a few years ago, we had no kids. So um, her sister has two, her brother has one, and now we have a son. And um, all of these kids are about a few months shy of two years old and younger, right? So we've got one that's almost two, eight month old, and then two infants, like newborns, um, two months, and then literally a couple weeks old. So mostly for the older two of those kids, we decided we were going to go to the park, Right. And my brother-in-law that's in town, we had already been hanging out outside, getting some sunshine here in Colorado while he's in town. And we're throwing the football around. We're throwing the Frisbee around. And first of all, man, nothing makes me more happy than like, but I shouldn't say nothing makes me more happy. Nothing like takes me back to being a kid, like throwing the football around, right? Throwing something, right? If I'm ever having a bad day, if I'm ever just wanting to uh, clear my mind of things, if I can go outside and throw and play catch with somebody and throw a ball around, oh my gosh, like it is so therapeutic for me. And um, I used to play quarterback and I played softball and things when I was a kid, tried to throw javelin in college and track that didn't go as well as I had hoped, but I just love throwing things. And my shoulder is actually a little bit sore from, from all the catch we've been playing over the past few days. Um, trying to, you know, pretend like we were kids again. And um, so we decide we're going to go to the park. We're going to take these young kids to the park, mostly for my niece and nephew to uh, to play on the swings, to go down the slide, right? This is like an almost two-year-old. So we're just trying to go get some time outside and staying, instead of hanging out indoors, just all visiting. And we get there and there's this park by our house. It has these two zip lines that, um, you know, you just slot like coast across the the mulchy area of the park. They're totally meant for kids. Uh, there's swings, there's a like jungle gym, there's a slide and stuff. And of course we brought that football with. And then there are some uh, cemented into the ground cornhole boards that we actually didn't end up using, but we did bring some um, some bags, some cornhole bags with us just in case. Um, so naturally, you know, we're, we put our, my little niece on these swings and um, her dad's pushing her. So all of us big kids, all of us adults, we go play on these zip lines, right? And we're having so much fun, just like playing on the zip lines, pretending like we're kids again. And, you know, we don't look as coordinated as some of these kids that are doing this. Some of these like eight-year-olds and 10-year-olds that were there at the park, they're doing it. And they're making it look a whole lot easier than we are being, uh, you know, double their size. And um, we're throwing the football around. I decide to go next to my niece on the swing. And uh, something that I used to do when I was a kid uh, in our backyard or at the park was, man, I would get the swings going as high as I could, where my butt is almost coming out of the seat at the top. And then I would jump off and I would go as high or as far as I could and uh, try to land it. Sometimes I would land and roll into a somersault. Uh, so I decided yesterday that I'm going to swing, build up a little momentum. And I decided to jump off the swing. And my wife recorded a video of this. And it is not nearly as coordinated as uh, those jumps and lands used to be when I was a kid. But 
holy shit. Do I, I tell you what, it was fun. And um, I guess what I'm getting at is all of us, for the most part, when we are kids, we do all sorts of stuff, right? We play, we go do things, we build up an intense sweat, and we do this day after day after day. We're playing with our friends, and we're not hurt. We don't have injuries. Like we might fall and we might scuff our knee. Like we might actually hurt something. You could, a kid could fall off the monkey bars and actually injure something. But what I mean is we don't have these like constant day to day aches and pains that many of us have now. And one thing that's true about many of us now is we also don't have the same mobility that we used to have. We don't have the same strength to weight ratio. Like right now, for how much our bodies weigh, many of us are much weaker now relative to how big we are than what we were as kids, right? We might have been able to do a lot of pull-ups or hang from a bar or something or do the monkey bars a lot easier as a kid than we can do now. And ultimately, the reason that that happens is just because we stop doing things and we lose the ability. It's not like we've all of a sudden, um, like we gained some mag magic ability to do this stuff as kids. It's that we were born with great mobility for the most part, but we don't maintain it. We wear shoes that have thick heels on them. We lose ankle mobility. We sit in chairs, just like I'm sitting right now recording this podcast. Um, we're not using our ankle mobility. Our hips are stuck in a flexion position. They get stiff. When we lose mobility in these joints, we also lose strength. And at the end of the day, stronger people, more mobile, stronger people, are harder to kill and quite frankly, more useful in general. So if you're gonna go move and you need to move couches and refrigerators, are you gonna call your weakest friends or are you gonna call your strongest friends? You're gonna call your stronger friends um, to see if they can help you do that. We need to continue to play and get outside and get down on the floor with our kids and put ourselves into positions and motions that we used to do with ease and that we used to do with a lot of regularity, like every single day, and just start to reintroduce those movements to our body so that we can start to re, um, you know, restore some of the mobility, some of the strength, and some of the ranges of motion that we used to have. And I'm not saying that that's going to be easy. That's going to be tough because ankles are stiff, shoulders don't feel like they used to, backs are stiff, and it's not like you're just going to all of a sudden move like you did when you were five or 10 years old. But that doesn't mean you should stop trying. That doesn't mean you should stop putting yourself in positions to push the envelope, but be smart about it, of course. I'm not saying go from zero to 100 overnight. I'm saying start to incorporate some of this stuff again. Because the truth of the matter is, if we just continue on the course that many of us are on now, the outcome is just going to be more of the same. We're just going to get stiffer and weaker, less mobile, and have these repetitive tweaks of our back and our knee and whatnot continue to come up. So um, whatever activity it is that you used to love to do as a kid, holy smokes, I encourage you to go do it. I encourage you to go grab that ball, get a friend, and go play. And if the first few that you call don't want to do it, call some other friends. Like somebody is going to take you up on this because if you're like me, I think so many people miss doing these things. We just don't do it because there's so many other responsibilities and so many other things that are going on in our life. We have kids, we have jobs, we have other things that we have to go to, responsibilities, right? But play has so many benefits, not only from the physical standpoint, but from the mental standpoint. It can clear your mind, stress, anxiety, all this stuff is a huge problem in our society. This can give your mind a break from that. Do something that is not structured. You're just out there doing it. And um, you don't have to think about like following your workout to a T, just go play. That could be kicking a ball around. That could be joining an adult um, rec basketball league. That could be literally going to the park, playing with your kids. And instead of sitting on your phone on a bench while your kid goes and plays on the jungle gym, or instead of you just standing there watching them, like climb up there and do the things with them if the piece of equipment is... Um, strong enough to tolerate your body weight, right? If it's built sturdy enough that you could go on it too, do it. Like who's going to stop you? And like, you shouldn't feel judged or anything by the other parents. Quite frankly, 
If anything, it should be the other way around. They're going to be jealous that you're out there doing the thing that they wish they were doing with their kids. So go out there and play, start to get some of that joy and that energy in that vigor back for life. And, um, I would be shocked if you don't start to see some benefits in how your body feels, how your body responds, the relationships in the bond that you build with your kids and with your friends, when you're just out there enjoying each other's company, doing things together without worrying about the next agenda item on your to-do list for the day. So with that, I hope all of you guys can go find some playtime today, tomorrow, um, and make it happen. I appreciate you guys tuning in to listen to this episode of The Code. Uh, whether you've joined us for just this first time or you've joined us for many, thank you again for doing that. And if you've not already done so, we are trying to get this show out to more and more people. Whatever podcast platform you're listening on, please go scroll to the review section and leave us a review. We have a goal to get to 500, excuse me, 200 five-star reviews on this podcast. And um, every single one of those matters and does seem to make a huge difference. So thank you in advance for that. And we'll catch you guys on another episode of The Code.